Welcome to homework for third grade, module one, lesson eight. Start with your name, don't leave it out. Number one, draw an array that shows six rows of three. I'm gonna start off by drawing one row of three. One, two, three, and then I'm just gonna finish drawing the rest of the rows. One, two, three, four rows, five rows, there's six rows of three. Then draw an array that shows three rows of six. So I'm going to start off with one row of six first. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now I need two more to make three rows. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, now write a multiplication expression for the arrays in problems one and two. So uh, it says list, let the first factor in each expression represent the number of rows. So in problem one, we have how many rows? Six rows of three. And in problem two, we have three rows of six. And we look at this, see the equal sign right here? We should have the same factors in a different order on either side of the equal sign. These are both equal to 18. 6 times 3, 3 times 6. That's using the commutative property. Write a multiplication sentence for each expression. These are all expressions. This is an equation because it has an equal sign. You might skip count to find the totals. An equation, uh, equation, sorry, an equation and a multiplication sentence, they're going to be the same thing for this, but these are the expressions. These are expressions. And this is a sentence or an, an equation. You might skip count to find the totals. The first one is done for you. And I'm going to go through these pretty quick. Three fives is 3 times 5 equals 15, and that's just the commutative property from A. 6 threes is 6 times 3 equals 18. That's the array we just did above. 3 sixes, we did that one too. That's 3 times 6 equals 18. Now, if you don't know these facts, I only, I'm going to go rather quickly through some of these because I just know them from years and years of drilling the snot out of them with flashcards. Uh, 7 times 3 equals 21. If you don't know them, you can uh, use repeated addition to figure them out or skip count to figure them out or draw pictures and count, whatever works for you. Draw, draw the array 3 times 7 equals 21. 8 threes 8 times 3 equals 24. 3 nines, 3 times 9 equals 27. And 10 threes is 10 times 3 equals 30. Now some some of these are like, especially like 3 tenths, usually one way would be easier to think of than another. 10 threes is the same as 3 tens. You can count tens a lot easier than you can count threes, 10, 20, 30, right? So sometimes it's easier to, to use the commutative property to switch it around so you can remember it easier. Number five, find the unknowns that make the equations true, then draw a line to match the related facts. So here we have threes. One, two, three, four, five. We have six threes. We've been doing that one, right? Six threes. It's right there. We know that's going to be 18. 3 fives, 15. And these are the same ones that are they're just they're in the one just above. 8 threes plus 1 three is going to be 9 threes. And that's this one right here. 27. And 3 times 9, 27. Now we're on this, we're going to start seeing those are going to match up because they have the same product. And this 6 times 3, that's 18. That's the same as that one. And then we're looking for a missing factor here. 5 times 3 is 15. 
and this one's a little tricky, but it is the last one left. But then just remember that you have you've got the three times five is fifteen, and here you have five times three is fifteen. The important thing is to see is that it's the commutative property here. Those are the same factors, so they have the same product, and they're going to be that's what makes them uh, related facts. And we're on the second page now. Fernando, Fernando puts three pictures on each page of his photo album, and he puts pictures on, he's got eight pages, and three pictures on each page. The each is important. Use circles to draw an array. We have to draw an array that represents the total number of pictures in his album. So he's got three on each page, and he has eight pages. So that's eight groups of three. So I'm going to make eight rows of three. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So each row is a page, and each page has three pictures, right? One, two, three. That's four rows. One, two, three, five, six, seven rows. I ran out of room. I got to draw my last row up here. And is that eight rows? One, two, three. Six, seven, that's eight rows. All right. Now it says B, use your array to write and solve a multiplication sentence to find Fernando's total number of pictures. So his total number of pictures, we're just going to write the multiplication sentence. It's eight rows of three equals 24. You can skip count it by threes or by eights, or just count them all one at a time, and you'll get 24. And now we have C. Fernando adds adds two more pages to his book. He puts three pictures on each new page. Two more pages, three pictures on each page. Draw X's to show the new pictures in the array in part A. So I'm going to add, I don't have any room to do this, so I'm going to have to go up into the words for the question. And I need two more pages, that's two more rows of three. One, two, three, one, two, three, there. Uh, draw axis to show, done. And now part D, write and solve a multiplication sentence to find, so we need a multiplication sentence to find the new total number of pictures in Fernando's album. All right, so here we have now we have, we don't have eight rows of three anymore, right? We're going to count the X's now. We have two more rows, so that's eight, nine, ten. We have ten rows of three. So here's our new multiplication sentence. It's going to be ten times three equals thirty. And let's see, what's his name? Fernando. Fernando, you have to write your answer here, right? Because this is a word problem. Fernando has 30 total pictures. Remember, we're counting the total number of pictures for that problem. So your answer has to be... If you just write 10 times 3 equals 30, then it, I don't know which number is your answer. You have to say what you're, you need an answer statement. This sentence, you have to have it. Number seven, uh, Ivania recycles. She gets three cents for every can she recycles. How much money does Ivania make if she recycles four cans? So she's going to recycle four cans three cents for each can, which is going to be 12 cents. And you, if you want to use, you can use repeated addition to count this up in your head if you need to, uh, but you're going to see four times three and three times four equaling 12 a lot. Uh, so it, it's a good one to be able to remember. How much money does Ivania make if she recycles seven cans? So I'll just, oh, seven cans times three cents a can is going to be 21 cents.